Today's question comes from Bottle Teams, a user on Noster, and they ask, what's the best way to sand wood for the smoothest finish? My grandfather always dampened the wood to, with water to raise the grain, then, then sanded. Repeated a few times with more fine sandpaper. Thoughts? It's a good question, and thank you for submitting it. It's a good question because it leads us to asking why are we sanding in the first place. Um, we're sanding the wood to create a finish. So the finish that we are trying to achieve is determinant on the amount of sanding. Uh, like, if we want a stained finish, we can't s s highly sand it and s you know sand it all the way up to a thousand grit because the stain won't penetrate. So first, we got to ask ourselves what kind of finish are we looking for? When you s sand wood for the smoothest finish, you're usually going for like an oil finish. Um, it would probably be overkill for like a varnish or polyurethane finish or lacquer finish. Um, and if you are staining it, you can't sand it up to a very smooth finish because the stain won't soak in. So if you're looking for a smooth finish, you're usually looking for an oil finish, teak oil, tongue oil, um, any of those kind of oils or you know like salad bowl kind of finish non-toxic oil mineral oil that kind of thing um, you can you want to when you sand you want to always you want to first take out the imperfections and you want to always go up through the grits like 80 120 220 I guess 320, something like that, 340. And each successive grit, you want to sand out the previous scratches from the coarser uh, sandpaper. So you want to start with your coarse grits, knock out your imperfections, and then work up through the next grit. So your coarse grit would be like 80 grit, aluminum oxide or garnet paper or all the new finish or new types of grit they have now. Um, 80 would take out you know all your major imperfections. Then 120. With the 120 you want to sand out all the 80 grit scratches. If you don't then your finish will show those scratches up. Um, you'll see them, especially if you stain them and you'll be sanding it, trying to sand it out with a stained finish and it's a mess. So go up through your 120, your 220. At about 220, uh, if you're going for an oil finish, then you can wet it and it'll raise the grain and when it'll, it'll raise the fibers. So when you wet the wood for the first time, there's fibers, and when it dries, those fibers will kind of stick up and then you'll get to sand them off. Better yet, I think from 220 on, I like steel wool. Um, steel wool is not gonna, it's gonna like shear your fibers off and it kind of burn, starts to burnish your surface, which would be really nice for an oil finish. So that's for oil finishes. I wouldn't waste my time on raising the fibers for, say, a varnish finish or a polyurethane finish, lacquer finish, shellac finish, any of those finishes. Um, because those finishes are so thick that you want to just you know go you know 80 or 100 to 120 
and then probably 220 and then do your staining and all that and then put on your first finish those types of finishes will require several coats and you sand in between the coats so any fibers that are in that on the wood and in the finish will be dried up in the varnish or the polyurethane and then when you sand it you'll just you'll sand those um, they'll end up being nubs or bumps or little uh, um, you know kind of rough patches and you'll sand those off so it's not really worth it on varnishes and, and uh, a polyurethane type finish so it does depend on your finish and you have to ask yourself what is what do what what is my final finish going to look like what do I want out of it how smooth do I want it usually you want smooth smooth finish for an oil it's a better uh, better feel really a better look and feel so uh, I hope that helps Thank you very much for the questions. Um, if you have any questions in regards to shop skills or woodworking or metalworking, uh, feel free to uh, drop me a DM uh, on my Noster account. The uh, link is down below in the description. And uh, if you like this video, please like or subscribe. Um, and uh, we'll uh, talk to you next time.